Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns. Hey, got a story for you. So, you know what? Let's get right into it. All right, guys, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you watch my content. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, I got a story right here that I find very interesting. This story is coming out of Michigan, and it's not much to go on by right now. So the information is going to be very minimum, okay? Uh, but still, I think it's something worth talking about because I talk about this um, a lot. Uh, as you see right here, it says you have a two-year-old who was fatally struck by a car when she walked out of the house after her parents had put her to bed, okay? Um, y'all know how I feel about these stories. I tell y'all a lot of times, hey, if the story goes that, hey, they was there last night, but then they got up the next morning, whatever the case may be, you know, and usually nine times ten, the story is bullshit. You know, uh, right now, for what I gather from this story, I don't think, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if this is one of the stories. This has to be, this sounds like this is actually a story that this may have happened, that the child actually did get out the bed and snuck out the house whatnot. now. That's what it sounds like now, but doesn't mean uh, that's exactly what happened. But the story says as follows. It says, um. Uh, a Michigan toddler was tragically struck and killed by a car after apparently wandering out of her house after bedtime last week. The girl was just two years old and had been put to bed by her parents Friday evening as they went about their evening at home in Island Township. Okay. It was just after 8 p.m. Police were called to the scene after the girl was struck and killed in the street by a 38-year-old male in a 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. Upon arrival on scene, troopers found a two-year-old female toddler lying in the road, cops said. The child was transported to Hillsdale Hospital where she succumbed to her injuries. Of course, she passed away. Investigators are trying to determine exactly how the accident occurred. Preliminary investigations show that the child was, was put to bed by her parents in the home. Police said adding that drugs and alcohol did not appeared to play any part in the fatal crash. While the parents were working around the home, the child got out of bed and walked out of the house. The child walked onto Chicago Street and was struck. All right. This is how the story is going. Let me see. I think I put up some mails. Um... Uh, okay, well, what I put up is pretty much saying the same thing. You know, I, I didn't see no news clips or anything about it. But this other stuff that I pulled up uh, is pretty much saying the same thing. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and, and the reason I'm saying that maybe this story may have some truth in it because it appears that somebody actually hit the child. Okay. It appears somebody actually hit the child. The child somehow did end up in the road and the child got hit. So this is why I'm saying that maybe this is one of them stories that, you know, maybe the child did sneak out the house or whatnot. Okay. Maybe the child did. Um, but now here's where my questions come in at. All right. Um, the locks, you know, two years old. Um, I haven't seen many two year old that know how to unlock a door or whatnot. But then again, you know, I guess once they pay attention enough, they probably know what to do. So I guess uh, you, it depends on how you weigh it out, you know, how you weigh the situation out. But I guess the more important question or questions we had to be asked was, was the door really locked? You know, was the door unlocked? You know, and the child got out the door. I mean, it could be a possibility that somebody may have took out the trash or somebody stepped outside for a minute and just when they came back in, they just forgot to lock the door. You know, I guess there is a possibility that that can happen. Or one of the million dollar questions that you can ask right here is, have this child snuck out the house before? Y'all know that's one of the main questions I always ask. Have the child snuck out the house before? And if the child haven't done it before, what caught the child's attention this night to do it? And not only that, you know, to go out in the middle of the street. 
like the way they claiming that the child did, you know, uh, because usually when it's dark, from my understanding of how I grew up, a child is not going to go too far if it's dark. I guess unless they know the neighborhood, you know. So it's a a tragic situation and a tragic story. But at the same time, you know, you still going to have to have questions as to, you know, what really took place here. Now, I've seen some comments or other places where I've seen there where people going at the parents, talking about their piss poor parents. I'm not ready to say that right now, you know. Again, because the way the story is being told, it sounds like this may be just an accident. You know, it's just a freak accident. And that man who, whoever they hit that child, man, I know that's going to fuck with them. It's going to fuck with them bad, you know, because don't nobody get up in the middle of the night thinking they're going to hit a child, all right? And not only that, you hit a child and the child succumbs to their injuries. Nobody ever gets up here, not even at nighttime. Nobody gets up in the daytime thinking that a child is going to jump out in the middle of the street like that and get struck by a car, you know, so... Whoever driving that car, man, I know they they fucked up all over, you know. And I'm pretty much sure the parents are too, you know. I mean, if the story is truthful as it's saying that it is, then I know the parents are devastating too. So I'm not going to jump on a parent. Matter of fact, I don't even know these four black or white, you know, which really don't matter. But, you know, if this was just a freak accident, then, you know, prayers to the family. But still don't mean that people do not have questions okay so ladies and gentlemen um i don't know you know i'm pretty much sure a lot of y'all have heard this story and i'd like to know what you think about this right now uh, right now there's no pictures or anything like that or the family hold on but let me check before i get out of here uh see that any pictures or images or anything that has been put out and i don't see any as of now um so the story is still developing. Yeah, the story is still developing, guys. So, you know, right now, this is all I have to go on. And I want to bring it to you. And I would like your thoughts and opinion of what you think about what you have heard. I'm your man, Chris Thorns. Hey, and I will catch you next time. Thank you for listening.